In this video, we will be talking about trig functions of acute angles. Press pause to copy these definitions into your notes. When you're ready to continue, press play. Now you'll notice that there are two ways to look at these trig functions. We can look at them with the coordinates of the point at the end of our vector right here on segment AB. The point is XY and the R is defined as the length of the hypotenuse. So we can see that sine is y over r, cosine x over r, tangent y over x, and so forth. But sometimes it's beneficial to think of it just as a standalone triangle, and um, you don't deal with the coordinates of the point. You think of the side opposite angle A. So uh, if you're standing in, let's pretend this is a triangular room, and you're standing in this corner that's labeled A, then the side opposite angle A would be the wall that you look at across the room. Okay? So opposite would be uh, this side Y right here. And the hypotenuse is always the side that is opposite the right angle. And then the side adjacent is, again, if you're standing in this corner, it's the side you can touch. Now, of course, you can touch the hypotenuse also, but that already has the special name hypotenuse. So the side adjacent is the one you can reach over and touch. And the side opposite is the one that's across uh, across the way. So uh, you can think of your trig functions either with the coordinates um, as defined here or as opposite over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse, opposite over adjacent, hypotenuse over opposite for the cosecant, hypotenuse over adjacent for the secant, and then adjacent over opposite for the cotangent. Now there is a little saying to help you remember the first three. It just uses these first letters the O and the H and the A and the H and then the O and the A. And then we use the first letters of our trig functions. So the little saying is SOKATOA. Let me write it and then I'll explain it. So KATOA. And uh, the S stands for sine, and it is opposite over hypotenuse. The C stands for cosine, and it is adjacent over hypotenuse. And the T stands for tangent, and it is opposite over adjacent. So SOKATOA helps you remember the uh, these definitions for the three trig functions. And then, of course, your uh, reciprocal functions, you just flip these over. Now let's do a problem. Find the sine, cosine, and tangent values for angles D and E below. And so notice we have a triangle drawn. It's a right triangle. We don't have it uh, graphed in a coordinate plane, so we don't have any idea about x, y, and r values. So we're going to have to use our SOKOTOA definitions. So for sine of d, and let me go ahead and write that just for a A little bit of help for you right now. Um, in order to get the sine of angle D, I need to 
sit in this angle right here and find opposite over hypotenuse. So my opposite side is going to be 36. And my hypotenuse is 85 because that's opposite the right angle. Let's continue down with angle D. Uh, my cosine of angle D, I need the adjacent over hypotenuse. So my adjacent side is the 77 over the hypotenuse, which is 85. And then for my tangent of angle D, I need the opposite over the adjacent. So sitting in angle D, opposite is 36, adjacent is 77. Now, if we're going to look at angle E, I need to sit in angle E and my sine opposite over hypotenuse. So I need 77 over 85. My cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So we're sitting in angle E. My adjacent side is the 36 and my hypotenuse is the 85. So 36 over 85. And then my tangent, I need opposite over adjacent. So sitting in angle E, I need opposite, which is 77, over adjacent, which is 36. Now notice on these, my sine of angle D and my cosine of angle E are equal. 36 over 85 and 36 over 85. So my sine of angle D is equal to the cosine of angle E. Now that is something that we need to remember because the measure of angle D plus the measure of angle E is 90 degrees. Since we use 90 degrees in our right angle, then these two acute angles need to be complementary. So they will add up to 90 degrees. So we can say then that the measure of angle E is equal to 90 minus the measure of angle D by subtracting the measure of angle D from both sides. That then allows us to sub this in in place of angle E and we have the sine of angle D is equal to the cosine of 90 minus D. Now these are co-functions and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about co-functions in our next video.